Thus, the end of the contest, the final score, the Pueblo Centennial Bulldogs won, the Power is very zero. Stopped a little bit, but Orlando gets the rebound there. Yes. Yeah. What, what was kind of the plan going into that? Well, case? I mean, on free kicks, we just really try to just kick the ball low, kick the ball low uh, on the ground. And then, the, I mean, the goalie wasn't really catching anything, so we were just trying to ca uh, crash the, the goal. And Orlando just did that, and it was a goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys in that first half, three three balls that went off the crossbar. I mean, yeah. You know, just how tough is it when you have shots that close to kind of, you know, Keep, keep staying in. We just got to keep shooting, you know, hopefully. I mean, we know uh, one's going to go in. Yeah. We're ready. All right. Yeah. Sweet. You told me I got to talk to Cisco. I mean, what, what kind of game did he have today? Well, I have to give him all the credit. Um, he was smarter than his coach today because, <laughs> I mean, normally we play him much more in an offensive position, and he just found in the first 10 minutes to, to go back to what we call the holding mid or the number six, and uh -huh. it basically eliminated any other pressure they had. The only other way they were able to create anything was on long throws, you know, and if you, you know, watching that game the first 15 or 20 minutes, it was a little shaky. You know, we were giving up chances, and they ran our end, yeah. and then Cisco just took it upon himself to basically switch spots with somebody and change the game, you know, and then I don't think they really created much after that, you know, within the field of play. We hit three crossbars in the first half and <laughs> yeah. had a couple other chances in the second half. I mean, this game probably could have been a couple more goals, but, you know, and then we score kind of an ugly goal. So, yeah. you know, whatever. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, too, he had a couple saves. He had that one uh, great save where in, he dumped in, in the first half, the, I think that's the one that kept us in the game because it was still 0-0. Gotcha. And then he had the one in the second yeah. half off of, you know, one of their longer throws, I think, that, that kept us also. But, um, yeah, he's fantastic. He's a senior leader, and he's been in these situations a lot. And I think he was really tested probably just those two times. But obviously, without an experienced goalie, that could have been 2-0. You know, and so um, certainly, yeah. I mean, all the seniors. You know, Dylan had a fantastic game in the back. Harrison probably ran 10 miles in this game, you know, just <laughs> trying to stay with their midfield. And they were huge. I mean, we're not that big of a team. We're young. And they had some really big kids. And that was, you know, obviously a, a tough, tough matchup with the long throws and the, the free kicks and things. So... Super proud of them though. Oh, yeah. They battled hard. You know, our little guys came through. <laughs> Good. So yeah.